Hey everyone, this is Prince from DC Programmer. Welcome back to another exciting video. And in this video, we are going to talk about Flutter Web and creating a responsive navigation bar using Flutter Web. So I've been experimenting a little bit with Flutter Web and I'm trying to see if we can actually create a really good responsive website with a single code base, writing as less code as possible to avail both adaptability and responsiveness on mobile and desktop screens. So a very simple thing that we are going to do here is to create a responsive nav bar and I will show you how making very simple changes in your application you can have a responsive nav bar in both the screen. So this is my simple project setup as of now. You can see that I have a very simple. This is the boilerplate code that we get. I am calling a responsive nav bar as a visit here and the thing is that this is going to act as a main container for your application. So you call this and then all your widgets go inside this particular body or this particular body of this scaffold. If you're having multiple pages and they have different um, navbar, you can co have different uh, pages with same scaffold. Now here I have a app bar which says a title. Okay, run this application and this is what we get. So we have a DC program in center. This is my entire application. Now what I want to do is that I want to create a responsive navigation bar. So my entire idea here is that we will check if we are on a mobile view or not, and then we are going to show or hide some visit accordingly. So for that, I have a Boolean value, we call it mobile. This is set to false by default. But right here in the build, what we're going to check, we are going to check the value and we are going to assign a value accordingly. So we're going to have mobile, which is going to be equal to media query. Okay, then here, sorry. So we have media query dot of context then we have size and then we have width and you can have whatever width that you want. I'm saying that if it's more than 700, okay, then I am saying we are not on mobile screen. If it's less than 700, we are on a mobile screen. So now that we have a value of this, what we can do is that we can give some uh, widgets. Okay. So what I have one widget is that I have a list of widgets. I'm going to call this as nav items. They're going to be simple buttons as of now. You can write your own custom code and make them as complex, as beautiful, as responsive, as interactive as possible. I just want to show if this can be responsive or not. Coding these buttons is up to you. Now that I have this up and running, all that I have to do is that I have to go to my app bar and I have to call these actions. So you can see that this is a list of visit which can be null. So what I'm simply saying here is that if I'm on a mobile view, just make it null. If I'm not on a mobile view, then I want to render these navigation items that I have. Save this and interestingly, now if I reload it and we go back here, you can see that we have these two action buttons here. If you're on desktop view, we can have these buttons. You can give padding margin whatever you want later on. But as soon as we move to mobile view, they disappear. Interesting and useful, right? Moving forward, what I want here is a drawer. And as you can see, this drawer too can be a nullable widget. So what I want to say here, it's just the opposite that if we are on a mobile view, then we are going to have a drawer. If we are not on a mobile view, then I'm going to have a null visit here. And in my drawer, what I'm going to have is that I will have a child. This child will be a list view. Okay. And this list view can have children and these children will be this particular nav items. Okay. Save this, go back, um, reload. And now here. In our mobile screen, you can see that we have this cute little drawer icon. Click on this and now you have drawer widget here. We have these buttons. Now again, you can customize it as much as you want. Okay. And if you extend it, if you go to our desktop screen, the drawer disappears, the drawer icon disappears. And we have this, you know, we have this one, uh, these two widgets. So I know it's not very great. You can customize it as much as you want. But if you take a look at this, writing very small amount of code we do have a very responsive navigation bar for our web and mobile platform using flutter so if you are interested in flutter web and if you are coding something you can maybe maybe probably use this thing somewhere and get the best out of it so that's pretty much it from my side in this video i'll see you again soon in the next video till then keep coding keep loving keep sharing and peace